So today, I'm going to show you how to turn Uncharted into a virtual reality game. And I'm going to use Luke Ross's mod. I know it's behind the paywall, but it's only, well, it's less than $10. And it's well worth it, because it, it converts, what I think at the moment, 16 games he's got. And there's these two, which is a, a Thieves' End and The Lost Legacy. And they're brilliant. Now, I'll tell you up front, right away, this isn't in, fir in first person, it's in third person. But I think that's because it's a climbing game. It hasn't got a native first person option anyway. And with it being a climbing game, I think if it was in first person, your face would be against a wall most of the time. It would, I don't think it would work well first person. Then again, and I've looked for a mod to turn it into first person, but I can't find one. Not a decent one anyway. So I'll show you how to install it. The setting up process is a little bit difficult. A little bit tricky, should I say. But once you've got it set up, everything will be fine. And it will remember the settings. You don't have to do it again. Also, make sure you play this game. Play it uh, in flat mode. Uh, before you install the mod that helps it create a user profile for, for you and it runs a lot better if you do that anyway i don't think it'll run at all if you don't anyway let's sh let's do this let's install it first of all select the video not the video the game in your steam library right click on it move down to manage scroll across and scroll down to browse local files and click on that we'll just close this the, the local files and now what you don't want to do this is the mod here you don't want to drag this file drop it in there and accidentally drop it into one of these so i'd recommend scrolling down a bit there so there's no folders as you can see i've already done this so i'm going to do it again drag that drop it in it's going to ask me to replace the file that i've already put in there you won't get that right, there you go now what you do you select it right click on it and select it and then select extract here now it's asking me to replace the files i've already extracted it won't ask you i'm going to say yes to all and then what you want to do in fact i'll show you the files it's just put in there these are the files it's that folder and these three files real configures the one you're looking for now that's what that's just put in there for you so find real config should be there and double click on it and this shit will happen. Now hold on, I'm just going to lift my headset so I can click on yes. There. Now it's asking me if I want to keep or delete the files I've already installed. So I'm going to delete them so it can reinstall, reinstall them. I'm going to press D on my keypad. On my keyboard. Again, you won't get this on my keyboard, not keypad. There. And it should do all this shit for you. Now what this has done, it's set it up. It's optimised the settings for your uh, graphics card. That's what it's supposed to have done, but it hasn't because you're going to have to do some setting up in a minute and that's a tricky bit. So I'm just going to press any key on my keyboard. That's it. Piece of piss. That's installed. So, let's press play and set this up. Now this is really tricky, like I said, but once it's set up, you don't have to do it again. And you might be better off for some part of this to take, if you take your headset off. Here we go. Now I'm going to show you something now if I can... In a minute this will... See this here? Target pixel per degree. That's the slider you want to change. It'll be on about 14.0. See, it's gone all wibbly wobbly now again. I'm just going to press... Uh, pause on my keyboard to make that disappear because that's something new there you can see it there it's there can i move that no won't let me move anything so that's what i want to change and when you change that another box will appear at the bottom there right i'll do it now just make that disappear by pressing uh pause on my keyboard there oh now we'll set this up uh, i'm going to Press select, press select again, and then when the game will start now. It is really tricky, you can't see anything. You can't see the options that you've got, so you've got to just guess your way through it. I'm hoping he fixes this with an update. Here we are, see how shit it is? This looks really shit, doesn't it? And like I said, it's 
did I say? It's in a third person. It would. It's a climbing game, so it'd be pretty shit if it wasn't in third person. If it was in third, first person, your face would be against that uh, against the wall all the time. Right. So let's get this looking good because it looks shite. So first of all, let's press pause on the keyboard. Or if you press, if you've got a a PlayStation gamepad like I have, you know the button that you that controls video recording, and the button that you can press to take a screenshot. Well, if you press both of them at the same time, the menu will pop up. Now, take your headset off for this. I'm going to try and do it with the headset on. I'm going to go up to the uh, the pixel thing, which is the slidey bar. There, I don't know if you can see that. And it's on 14.0. That needs to be 15. Fucking hell, what that? That needs to be between 15 and 25, depending on your graphics card. I'm going to take mine up to about 23. And then I'm going to click on Adapt Resolution. That box won't be there until you start moving the slider. It'll appear once you move the slider. Click on Adapt Resolution. And it'll do this. That's just Adapted re Resolution. I can see a little bit better now. I can see that's the slider you've just moved. Now, I've all, I'm also going to move down here. See that 1.3 rate? I'm going to change that. I'm going to change that to Mono. I re recommend if you don't want to change it to Mono, change it to 1.2. Or half. That's the... Uh, What's it called now, that? Anyway, I don't like it. I turn that to mono. Now, a lot of people will say you, you lose the 3D effect and it's not really VR. To me, I don't see any difference. But that's, that's a personal preference that I choose. So, now we've done that. I'm going to click those two little buttons again and make that disappear. And now, I'm going to bring up a... Oh, hold on. Oh, that's my map. You see, bring up the options, click on options, go down to, this is the game options, we've just been fiddling about with the, the mod options, scroll down to display, and then it's got to be on windowed, look there, now scroll down to, where is it now, the render scale, which is on 50 at the moment, you want to take that up to about 100. Oh, not 120, there. I wonder what it'd be like on 120. You can mess about with that if you want. Everything below V-Sync should be off, apart from brightness, of course. And you can mess about with a DLSS if you want to, but I'm just leaving that off for the moment. I'm going to apply, oh shit, I'm going to apply that setting. Let's just make sure that setting is there. Uh, Yeah, render scale 100 again. Yeah, okay. Before we do any of that, let's go to advanced settings as well before we leave this. Uh, I've got textures on high, model quality, standard. I've got on, that on low, shadows I've got on low. Uh, reflections eye and ambient occlusion whatever the fuck that is I've got on low you want to see that little bar at the bottom let me just show you that again all the way through this see this little bar here make sure that doesn't go into the red the uh, video memory make sure it don't go into the red and you should be okay okay let's go back to the game and see what it looks like let's get out of that map oh shit there Look, doesn't that look much, much better? Now, if I shake my head like that, I've noticed when I play back the video that there's black borders that appear down each side. You don't get that in game if you've got the settings uh, optimised. Look, it's beautiful. Look, you can just climb about all over, all over the place. Isn't that stunning? So I do like this. Although I don't usually like games that, uh, VR games that are in third person. This I like. I was going to get my money back on the game. That was my plan. But I'm not going to do now. I'm going to play both the games all the way through. Because I've never played them. Whee. 
Oh, look. See, that's brilliant. I'm glad I'm not uh, in first person. So, a little bit of a learning curve with the controls, controlling the camera. Oh, what's that there? That looks interesting. I'm not doing anything with that. I'm going to look at this first. Oh, look. All right, let's see what you do. Yeah, what do you do? Ooh. What's oh, it done? Fountains. What's what? that noise? Oh, right. Yeah, I don't like that noise. What's that noise? Anyway, I'm going now because I'm hungry. And I've just... Oh, look, fountains. Oh, that's nice. I'd like to stay, but I'm not doing. I want some food. I just want to grunt and I'm hungry. So I'm going. So, goodbye.